Sky fans, welcome back to another episode of Empyrean Galactic Survival. This is your host, Zila, and we're here today doing the Alpha 8 Arid start on semi hard settings. Semi, you know, critters, critters hard, crafting easy, pretty much. So, resources fairly easy, uh, crafting fast. Uh, but critters hard. All the critter stuff hard. Environment. Um, all the environmental stuff is on hard too. All the degradation, all that sort of stuff. The impact of that is on hard too. So, um, anyway, so it basically makes it a hard game with faster and easier crafting is all. <laughs> okay. Uh, so you can see this troop transport is stuck here, and that really concerns me. So another thing that really, really sucks. Okay, so so as much as that stuck troop transport sucks, and I'll explain why it sucks. <clears throat> and you can see I'm cooking. Okay, I'm going to get back inside. Anyway, there's the, uh, I finished it off there. There she is. She's sitting there. She's, she's warming up. She's running. She's just, um... Um, what do we got left here? We got lots of fuel in here. Oh, boop, boop, boop. Get back inside, I'm freezing. Yeah, light armor in the pole. Once I know, I'm an idiot. But... Okay, um, now that we've established that I'm an idiot, we can move on from that. And so the troop transport being stuck, it's not the stuck part of the troop transport that concerns me. It's the troop transport itself being there there right in front of my freaking base <clears throat> now i'm lucky enough that it's bugged out right now and it didn't drop its troops because that could have been like devastating the second crappy thing that's going on here is i died and tragically it wasn't while i was technically in the game <laughs> now i'm going to explain what happened here um <laughs> so right after last episode or shortly after I cleaned up my inventory for the most part and and put everything away and went to log out and it was kind of a rushed log out I, I did the whole thing you know hit escape did the game options clicked on that and it started going through the process of logging me out and when you normally you just you're you're fine after that well <laughs> Yeah, if I'd stuck around for just a few more moments, I would have probably noticed a error come up, you know, the good old continue error <laughs> box. So basically I bounced the game back into a live state again. So my save, my actual, my game did not actually shut off. My game didn't shut off. So basically what happened is I'm assuming I starved to death at some point because I was away from my computer. I know I left I left it on the exit screen or technically it should have been at the exit screen for, you know, 45 minutes or so. It's just life. <laughs> Sorry. And unfortunately it erred out and did not log me off. So I came back to a dead character, or at least the dead character splash screen, um, asking me where I want to clone. Um, that was really, so when I got back to my computer and I saw the error and then noticed that, oh God, it's not the exit screen, it's the where do you want to clone screen. I was like, oh crap. And sure enough, there was no, there's no backpack. My guy had died probably half an hour before and the game had continued to run, right? So you're eventually your backpack because you're back you're standing at your backpack, right? Because I died right where or well I no, I guess the game kept running, right? And because I was I don't know why, but you don't get a backpack back. I've hap I've had this happen to me once before. And um, 
Yeah, you know, my fault. I should have paid attention, but I was in a rush and whatever. So what happens is I lost all my gear and my inventory and my um, my menu bar. So that means there I had a whole bunch of fuel and stuff. I don't know what I had. I made a bunch of stuff now, so I made new color texture tools. I don't even know if I had any before, but I made some now. <laughs> uh, remade all this stuff, except these two items I already had. I already had a uh, T2 pulse rifle and a T1 pulse rifle and this uh, pistol in one of the cargo boxes inside the base here so that so I didn't have to remake those. I had to make a new drill. I only have one charge for it though and that's disconcerting. I can't make any more charges for it. I don't have any more plastic. Uh, plastic. I don't have a farm going. So at this point I got I got a bunch of problems going on. I got this troop transport saying Oh man, I wish I wasn't bugged out. I could drop my troops and just obliterate this place because it has no defenses. And I think that we're going to have to correct. The only problem is, I, th I think if I put a turret on here, it's going to trigger drone base attacks. Because that is one of the triggering things. And that triggers the final phase, which which is either when, when you... When you look in the YAML, you can see what type of attacks you get. If it's like, like endless or a fixed amount, uh, it's dependent on the number that it's designated for the drone base attack setup. Um, and yeah, I'm not sure. I didn't even look to see what it is for this for this particular planet for its yaml i didn't i didn't actually look i don't know i don't know if it's like infinite or if it's like a wave of like you know like three and then done type thing or i don't know but all i do know is we need to actually probably build there we go those are really good okay so let's see what we can make um hopefully i can what do we got that's base wise hv HV, HV. Am I going to have anything that's base CV? I can do the sentry guns. I can do the cannon turrets. I can do the rocket turrets. Now they do the 155H MSLs. I can probably do that no problem. That's kind of cool. I'll have rock. <laughs> that's kind of silly base mini guns this is probably what i should do is do the mini guns and then i'm just using the 15 mil bullets and i'm not using wasting valuable resources i'm just using iron and wood uh the two most easiest to get items in the game really um okay so let's make a couple of those a couple or like what four and F six. <clears throat> now what do they take in the way of current energy pace and speed? Uh, energy and five kilowatts. Okay, so let's look at our at the base here. Now this is at night, I do believe. It just went to night, didn't it? Yeah, it's night time. Now it's hard it's hard to tell because we're so far north. Yeah, it's super cold too. Uh, we're so far north that there's the sun. That's like as dark as it gets, pretty much. Is it looks like the sun is forever setting, and then it just eventually it stays about that dark. <laughs> it just and then eventually it just rises again. So it doesn't really ever really set fully here, and so I'm always getting some energy and and so when it does come up um it pretty much can no hand no problem handle you know what i have powered except as long as i don't have the furnace running of course and it and it charges up all those batteries that i got so or all the capacitors i should say so i should have a massive charge going on like i got one two three four 
five capacitors. So that should give me like a big chunk of charge, right? So even if I, even if I ran the furnace like 24 hours a day, seven days a week, it would probably take me quite a few days to drain down those capacitors. Um, so I'm thinking... And that's really nice because I don't even think of, yeah, I haven't even used any fuel yet because of this. So this is great. The, the, the living up north definitely works. Um, I highly advise to do this. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. So here's the stats anyway here. I'll show you guys. Uh, so it's, it's in the middle of the night. I'm still getting a decent output, right, <laughs> for the middle of the night. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, my average is really awesome, and the consumption rate uh, is not that high. It's not that bad, so uh, it almost matches what the what it does at night. So it only draws a thin little amount off the batteries at night, like a very 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 thin amount, like almost negligible. So we're gonna add a couple more. We're gonna add five kilowatts of consumption per um, turret so that's not too bad we're we are going to start digging into the batteries a little bit heavier at night but i think i think the amount that it charges up during the day is going to be way more than sufficient to to charge it up almost instantly in the morning type thing like i i don't even think this is an issue i don't even know why i'm looking this up at this point as long as I don't use the furnace, I think I can totally um, outfit this whole thing, even get a garden going, which I which I actually want to start working on here because this is we really need one. Um, so that's the other thing. So there we go. We've got a couple of minigun turrets. Let's make a ammo box for this place. Small one will be fine. And we're going to need some ammo for it. Um, where is it here? I think it's right there. So that's a thousand, two thousand, three thousand, four thousand, four thousand, oh, five thousand. Okay, so five thousand. It's a nice round number. Um, okay, so, yeah, you can see we can't make the drill charge, we're just shot of one piece of plastic to make, what is it, five charges? Yeah, darn. Uh, anyway, but, but I do have the, I've got that, I mean, it's not like I'm starving for resources at all. It's just unfortunate that I lost all that stuff due to, you know, uh, the game crashing and me not being there for it to, to save me. I mean, if I if it had crashed and I was there, I would have it wouldn't have I wouldn't have died, right? Because it would have been like, oh crap. Log in, try and figure out what's going on. <sighs> yeah. Okay. How are we doing here? Let's get this. Okay, so. Where are we going to put this? I guess we can put it in the other room here. We should be able to put it in the other room, no problem. Yep. Um, where do I want to put it? Where it's going to be like... Yeah, that's totally out of the way. That's fine. We can get to that there. That's nice. Okay. Um, should I actually build... I left a bunch of blocks in the, yeah, these are all the ones that I got from the tower, right? Yeah, armored concrete, there we go. That's what I'm looking for. Okay, I think we should make a tower. I'll grab these just in case, too. Uh, I can probably actually upgrade that, too, quite easily. 
this place, if I'm going to be promoting attacks now, I guess I'm going to have to, I'm going to have to upgrade this place. So, yeah, I, darn. So what do we got for plating? So we've got a lot of plating. Got some cement. We need more though. Cause what, uh, let's check this out. Okay, so upgrade, we need two cement, two steel plates. Yep, okay, so what does that mean? We can do like 20 some odd with the cement we have and 130. Okay, so we need more cement, we need more cement. Let's get some cement going. Oh, let's let me do that. There we go. We're gonna need a lot. I have a feeling we're gonna need a lot, lot, because we're gonna like, build this whole place out of reinforced combat. Or is it combat card? What, what is it again? It's a. Uh, it is. Armored concrete block. Okay. <clears throat> That's good enough for now. We should be able to, with the blocks that we got, the 700 and something. Yeah, okay, so now I can't. Yeah, crap. Okay, so let's face our butt out there. Spawn our drone. Tab in, tab out just to get my. Uh, Right about that is creepy with him there right there. So I think what I want to do <sighs> So you can see that sun's coming up there. So it, it actually it gets sun it doesn't get sun from this direction here. Really. So if I wanted to I should put the tower there. That's not a bad idea. That gets it even further back. Yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. So, yeah, we'll just. And then, no, 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 no. I don't want. Stop it. Come on, go up a little higher then. Come on. It's really temperamental. Come on. No, stop. Stop. Up, up. There we go. Uh, three. Can we high enough? Oh, you know what? No, I don't want to do that there. I don't want to do that there. I don't want to do this like that. What am I doing here? Let's go like this. <sighs> Derpin. I don't want to have those. I, I just want to do it like this. I don't want to have this one. Even though that's not really supported anywhere except for these two blocks here. I don't really care. <laughs> It's supported enough. There's a corner piece going down. The door can hold weight. The wall can hold weight. It's fine. It's fine. Okay. I don't want to make it too high. I don't want to make it too low. That should be just perfect. So we'll do one, one there, I guess. Let's see what happens when we throw this guy on. So let's just face him around to this direction. Now he should start shooting the troop transport. He might actually go after all the critters though. So let's see, let's see, let's see what happens. Let's see what happens. Oh, he is troop transport, nice. <laughs> That took, oh, and critters down. Okay, so let's stop that behavior quickly here. No, 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 no. We're getting that turned off there. There we go. Um, I'm not sure if we need the rest of this. We need that. We, we can leave the rest. 
rest of it. Doesn't matter. I just don't need. I don't need Predator. That's good enough. Okay. Uh, yeah, I'm not gonna go get that. Although it has good loot. Hmm. Has good. It, it does have good loot, actually. Let's go get that. <laughs> Let's go get that. Now that I'm thinking about. Ooh, I'm actually quite hungry too. Whoa, 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 whoa! What was all that about? <laughs> Trying to break my leg, is it? Okay, let's let's just run back inside and settle down there. <laughs> Mr. Mario super jump on me. I don't know what the heck that was. That was <laughs> just uncool. <sighs> Alphas are so fun. Okay. Okay. Okay, you gonna you gonna super jump me? Let's put, let's, let's just jump up on the wing, okay. You gonna super jump me? No? Okay, good. Thank you. Here, we'll just jump in. I know, there's no windows. Oh, let's turn the engines on. The thrusters. Okay, so, straighten up, lower down a little bit, jump out. Jump spawn our drone. This way we can stay inside quite quite protected. Uh, critters ain't gonna get it, even come up in there even when it's like um, or it shouldn't, probably, maybe. Um, hopefully not. <laughs> okay, let's get this before it goes away. Really? I Oh my goodness. That just kind of sucked. <laughs> uh, that was a lot of effort for a bucket of water. Okay. And a pill. So I got a pill and a glass of water to take the pill with. Okay. Okay. That's okay. I'm okay with that. That's fine. There we go. It was, it was totally, totally worth the fuel. I'm okay with that. Yep. Um, in fact, let's... You know what? Really? <sighs> <laughs> huh, let's get the other tower up and <laughs> before this idiot frickin' troop transport shows up. Um, you know what, I, I'm thinking most, I think if I put another one right here on the other side, it'll be fine, right? That's what I'm thinking, so let's do that. Okay, get this put on and we'll adjust that. And so that's out of there. There, we can turn that off too. That's fine, there we go. Okay, so now we've got two guns. Let's see how it does. So the troop transport thing is kind of interesting. I had, I had killed, uh, I was way over, way, 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 like six or seven K. And I killed something, it triggered a troop transport. And I was pr actually pretty close to the drone base. So I was like way, way out there. I was only like about a K and a half away from the drone base. And so I just went and killed it really quick. Um, came back here and I was puttering around and like about 10 minutes, 15 minutes later, all of a sudden it said a, a troop transport is coming. I'm like, what, what did I do? <laughs> if 
But apparently, I don't know, it seems like once you trigger them, that's it. They're like permanently triggered, but then they do nothing because they bug out once they get to you. Um, I have a feeling that once they, once it flies over the mountaintop, my turrets are just going to completely annihilate it. So it'll probably come, oh, there it comes, right there. Look at that. And come on. And right there we go, there we go. There we go. There we go, yeah. Thanks for the free loot. Oh man. This is awesome. Tr transport farm. <laughs> Okay, these things are awesome loot. Look at that heavy weapon upgrade kit. Okay, that was worth it. That was, uh, that's actually pretty good. That's, that was definitely worth the field. Whoa, 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 whoa. As I'm just about to crash into my own base, because it's, this, this actually, this thing is actually pretty speedy. It's, it's not bad. I didn't over RCS it. Uh, so it should be smooth enough for aim where it was. I've already tried it. To tell you the truth, I went out and attacked a the closest thing that was to me, and that was in between uh, me and the drone base. There is that um, temple, and I took out its turrets, and it didn't even hit me. So, or at least I don't think so. Did it? Oh, it had those small turrets. Did um, no? I'm still at 100 percent. Okay, so yeah, uh, yeah, I took out the turrets, and I don't know, I guess we can go loot that, well, we'd have to go clean it out, though, I mean, we could go do it by ground, but right now I've got no armor, I've got no, I can't actually really step outside, right, without a booster, so... Hmm. I think I destroyed my air conditioner too, so I gotta make another one of those. That's not that big of a deal. And I've got a lot of I've got tons of resources and the and the the little miner will get me what I uh, whatever I need. It's not uh, resources is not an issue at this point. Um hmm. Well, I think what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to use this thing to uh, build my farm for me. So let's start doing that. Let's fly over there. So now that we got the turrets up and we got our uh, troop transport farm, now we should make a vegetable farm. <laughs> and I'm going to do that like right beside this one. I'm going to just do a pretty much identical little building uh, but it doesn't have to be um, quite so high oh I, I'm gonna have to get the you know what I'm gonna have to get the um, no you know what I don't need to dig wow really is it just huh so is it just like endless troop transports now are gonna come at me I mean, not to say that I'm not okay with that. I, they're just going to sit there and bug out anyway, and they're not going to actually do anything. So, eh. Uh, huh. Well, we'll just go loot it when it gets shot down, I guess. <laughs> we'll just stay out of my turret's way and let it get shot down. Okay, so let's... Let's go over here and here we can just land. Where can we land? We can just land here. Let's just land here. 
unless there's some of those critters that are triggered by uh, vehicles, but it doesn't sound like it. Let's check it out here. This is actually a pretty good spot. There doesn't seem to be... Uh, I thought there was going to be a golem that spawns right beside it, but it has never respawned right here, so I'm not really sure. I think it's because now I have my own... Um, I, I think it kills the spawn, like, if it's within 50 meters or something. I don't know. Maybe. Maybe not. Or maybe once, if the base is powered? I don't know. Uh, so, we, as we wait for that, let's... That'll be a bit. Let's just jump out. <clears throat> Get our drone going. We can watch it die with our drone. So basically what we want to do is we want to kind of duplicate what we got going here. Um, really what I want to do is put a cement base. I'll probably do it the same height that the current one is. And then I'm just going to do like um, do like stairs up into the grow plots, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I don't feel like digging this out. But I want to make it sealed and functional even with partial grow plots in. So let's uh, let's give this thing a base. So get that locked in and... There it is, dying. Dying, it's dying. Come on, and can we go... How far can we go? Can we go out to here? Oh, I think so. Well, got 102 XP, so. Uh, crap, I gotta. I'm gonna have to deal with it. That's fine. I got one charge. And it's a good drill, so. I one charge can go a long way. Yeah, I'm just putting plots on the top of this really, so I don't have to dig out much. I just gotta get the edge of it so I can connect to it. Okay, so before that thing disappears, let's go get it. I know you guys were all like, You're, why are, why, why don't you just go get it? Because <laughs> I'm, I'm just, sorry. So I'll stop messing with you guys. <laughs> Why'd you disappear right when I'm, because I'm being a dickwad. Oh, that was actually a good score. There was uh, some decent fuel and another um, heavy arms uh, heavy weapons upgrade kit, so that's that's really awesome. Okay, so here we go. We've got uh, a little bit of a platform here. I can probably land there now, right? Let's do that. Can I do that without smashing the wing? Let's see. Ooh, too close. There we go. Forward a bit. I think this will be okay here. Yeah, that's no, fine. There we go. Okay, so we should be able to just turn the um, thrusters off again. And. Eh, doesn't give it. I don't get it. Why does. So, I guess it's not using thrusters at all when it lands and all its weight is down. Because turning the thrusters off doesn't seem to do anything to the power consumption. Plus six. Huh. Okay. Good to know. 
Um, another, wow, really? Huh. So there's the, uh, oh yeah, I forgot to kind of show off the, the ugly little chubby plane. Um, it actually has a huge bulkhead for <laughs> Like to get to get killed by something through the bulkhead would be pretty difficult. You'd have to be a horrible flyer or a pilot. Um, so yeah, I guess you know I'll probably get shot down by getting the front end taken out. Um, anyway, well, we'll wait for that. <laughs> Clean this off a bit here. Oh, yeah, this needs to be way bigger. Well, I haven't seen a, uh, uh, the drone, the enemy is sending drones to attack your base sign, so I, I, I'm not sure if I triggered a drone base attack by putting the turrets on. I mean, remember, this used to be the POI called Unknown Helix. And it still is technically the POI called Unknown Helix, even though I own it and have moved the core and blah, blah, blah. None of its original blocks exist. It doesn't matter. <sighs> hmm. See, now, I, I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Like, what do you guys think? Do you think not having... Drone base attacks to begin with is a good thing or a bad thing. Um. <laughs> okay, we'll just go get it. We'll just go get it. I won't tease you. Oops. But I will fail a bit. Oh! <laughs> Let's clip the building. <laughs> I'm totally. Oh man. Did hey. He's giggling. He's laughing at me. I Yeah, they're all laughing. I see that? They're laughing. Yeah. Now they're just sad. They're not laughing anymore. They're just sad. I don't know what these guys do, but He's sad too. They're all sad. Okay. So, let's get this. Ooh, nice. Wow. Holy crap. Fuse wow. Uber. I mean, that's like what you want to get out of like a, a, a loot box from from a POI type thing. That was uh, pretty insane. Wow. Pulse rifle, a heavy weapon upgrade kit, a, a fusion cell. What was the other thing? I'd have to I'd have to look back in the video and see what the... I think it was like a, a large fuel pack or something. Or, or all those, was it? Or something? I don't know. But, yeah. Awesome. Wow. Oh, you know what? I should get this. These guys meat. Their meats before uh, before it spoils or before they goes away. Oops! Come on, that's me. Okay. Uh, 
Okay. It's like a shark with a frickin' laser on its head. Huh. That's kind of funny. Uh. Wow, I, I could paint a little something. Let's actually take a look at that right now. <laughs> and we'll finish the episode off. Um, hmm. What can we make them really bright? I wonder. Oh, you. Oh. So, rumor has it the next thing coming to experimental has a wider color palette or something. Or a bigger color palette or custom. Wow. Okay, so we do have a troop transport farm. How awesome is this? <laughs> we have loot boxes just being sent to us. Oh, how, how awesome is this little bunker we got set up that way? It's just sweet. Oh, it's just perfect. I love it. Okay. <laughs> well... Uh, on that note, guys, we're going to leave it off here. Um, next episode, I think we're probably going to take it out uh, and go take on the POI that's too close to the Titan part. Um, because we can't go f and do any more of the Brobs Protocol until we uh, get that Titan part. Um cleared of that POI that's too close to it so now that we got this thing we should be able to handle it no problem I should be able to go in there pop the, the turrets off and then we'll be able to take whatever we should be able to we should be able to get this done now that we got this thing here we should be able to get it done so uh, until then you guys have yourselves an awesome awesome day